I'm Dr Penny Prasad, a paediatrician in Harvey Bay in Maribor. I also hold a, um, an associate professor position through the regional training hub of Wide Bay to the University of Queensland. My inspiration to get into paediatrics was probably multifactorial. I did try a number of different specialties before settling on paediatrics. My main inspiration was in the form of a mentor who was an amazing role model um, in a regional setting with work-life balance, an excellent clinician and just passionate about what she did. I've always loved working with kids and families and, and certainly in paediatrics you're more often than not part of a larger um, clinical team. I've really enjoyed that sort of team mentality that paediatrics brings. As a general paediatrician in a regional setting, I am a true generalist. I never know what the day is going to bring. I do a true range of ages from premature babies through to 16 year olds. I do a mixture of acute medicine and um, outpatients and the fun and variety is unpredictable. Training in paediatrics through Harvey Bay Hospital, we only have limited number of trainees and each is seen as an individual, not as a number. We offer a formal mentoring process and each trainee is fully supported throughout their journey of paediatric training in Harvey Bay. To assist with the application process for paediatrics, one of the earliest hurdles is to get onto the basic paediatric training pathway. Certainly in my experience, working unaccredited as a PHO in a regional setting such as Harvey Bay or Bundaberg can give um, potential trainees the clinical experience and confidence that can then assist them in the application process to the basic training pathway. Training regionally in paediatrics has many advantages. I believe that being a general paediatrician in a regional setting is a completely different job to being a general paediatrician in a larger centre. We truly get to be hands-on and get involved in all cases. There are no formal subspecialties or neonatology uh, in the regional settings. So with support, we actually get to work in all areas of medicine. I believe there are further opportunities for flexibility if you have a partner that also works in the same area. The lifestyle balance is certainly fantastic in regards to less time with commuting, things such as housing, schools, and it's really lovely to be accepted as, as part of the greater community. To become a paediatrician, you will need to apply for fellowship through the Royal Australasian College of Physicians. Fellowship is a six-year full-time training pathway, consisting of three years full-time basic training in paediatrics and child health, followed by a further three years full-time training in advanced general paediatrics. Core training is a minimum of 24 months full-time requiring rotations, nine months general paediatric medicine, three months paediatric emergency medicine, three months neonatal in a perinatal unit, and three months in a paediatric medical specialty. The non-core training is 12 months maximum duration. Advanced training is 24 months full-time including 12 months general paediatrics, of which six of these months is in rural training, and six months has a perinatal component, six months acute training, six months community development training. Both Harvey Bay and Bundaberg offer accredited positions in advanced training. In regard to entry requirements and prerequisites, basic training entry requirements include general medical registration with the Medical Board of Australia, um, completion of postgraduate year two, the earliest entry into basic training is postgraduate year three, secured employment in a, an appropriate basic training position. Approval to apply for basic training from the hospital's Director of Physician Education. Before commencing advanced training, you will need to complete the RACP basic paediatric training as a prerequisite. The Queensland Basic Paediatric Training Network applies to all first and second year basic paediatric trainees seeking an appointment in Queensland. Applicants will first need to apply for the Queensland Basic Paediatric Training Network. The network comprises of four rotations consisting of metropolitan and regional training hospitals through which the trainees rotate to complete the requirements of the college for their basic training. Trainees will be asked to nominate a hospital preference once they've been notified of their successful network application. Employment contracts will be arranged by the facility where the trainee commences network training through the RMO campaign. 
Applicants can secure an advanced training position at an accredited training site by applying through the RMO campaign to the Queensland General Paediatric Advanced Training Network. The pathway offers an optional two-year program which allows the trainees to meet all core requirements for general paediatric advanced training with the RACP, including the community development component. I personally believe that completing some of your paediatric training in the Wide Bay area is incredibly rewarding. Bundaberg and Harvey Bay offer both basic trainee positions and advanced trainee positions. And as part of this, you not only meet your college requirements, I think it gives you a fantastic grounding in general paediatrics um, with that, within that rural setting. Um, you get to get hands-on earlier than you would necessarily in the city. You get to um, experience all of the subspecialties and really get the feel for what a true general paediatrician um, does in a regional setting.